this is uh, the final piece of the video now for this uh, motorbike turntable. It's uh, middle sections all nailed down as you can see. We've left the two outside ones just off a little bit. And I've sprayed a bit of grease on the rail under there. I'll have to uh, admit it though, the first set of wheels we put on were a bit naff. They all collapsed. So this had a new set of wheels on it. But I'm not happy with them at all. I'll put something a bit more permanent. But now it's working okay. It's giving me a bit more lenience. I'll uh, just show it you turning now. To be a bit, it's going to be a one-handed job, but it's easy enough. I'll do it with my foot. Move it round and show you now. As you can see, underneath there, it's rolling on the bearings, if you can just see. I'm standing on, I'm standing on it as well, so don't go arse over to it. I'm just... Rickety on the video, but you get the general idea. It's quite free moving. As I say, I'm sitting on it myself. I can pull it around, I'll show you by the bar here. It's easy with your foot, actually. Here we go, skate along. It's got a bed in, it hasn't done many rotations yet, but it'll bed in. Either two things will happen, then plastic wheels will collapse. Or it'll just carry on working, but for the rotation every now and again it's quite good. And it's quite easy, as you say, there's plenty of clearance on the front and back wheel. As you can see, I can actually roll back a bit there if I wanted to. It is 2 metres, which is 6 foot 9. Diagonal, sorry, diameter. But other than that, nail down. Tomorrow now I'll just nail these two outside boards down, get it painted. I'm going to put a locking pin in it as well, because when you're riding off it or riding on it, you don't want it to start rotating on its own, because it's quite free moving as I said. So I'll put a, a locking pin somewhere on it somewhere, but this is the final video as I say. I hope it's helped out there for people who want to do it. Thanks for watching.